Now, although I did not read the book, I do vividly remember it, and I wish I had a, but now that the series is available, oh, this is certainly one you have to check out. Let's jump into my review of the new series, The Midnight Club. Hey, what's up everybody and welcome back to the channel today for another review and today we're going to be reviewing the series The Midnight Club which is releasing on Netflix October 7th. There is 10 episodes an hour each and God, they're so good. If you like good character work, um, characters that are ones that you care about, you want to invest in, uh, you want to see their arc. Um, and they're completely intriguing, all uniquely different as we're kind of focused around eight patients. I'll come back to it in a second. This is certainly worth a watch with that alone. But if you love good storytelling, which each of these episodes tell a different story that are uniquely different, um, that really shows you how diverse this cast is because you got a certain outlining events of things happening and then you have these self-contained stories in each episode which basically makes it an anthology within a series which is so cool so so cool but in this you have um a, a hospice for terminally ill young adults eight patients come together every night at midnight to tell each story and make a pact that the next one of them to die will give a group a sign from beyond so here's the thing this primarily focuses on Ayanka, who is the newest member of the Bre uh, the Midnight Club. I'm called the Breakfast Club, the Midnight Club, and you know she's getting you know accustomed to everything that's around. Um, and she meets these other uh, uh, friends of her now. That's all in it. Um, so she's just trying to get away of the world, trying to fill everybody out because everybody has their own terminal illness, which that sort of brings about everybody's own uniquely different trauma and also kind of morale you know some people are very like hey you know it is what it is and some are just kind of scared because you just never know um, and I think that also brings like another level of like connection to these characters because the more and more you grow with them the more and more you start to say like hey I hope they stick around the entire season we don't want to see none of these characters go but understanding uh you know each one of their health situations are different that you, we just don't know um but they do all have something um in common and i think that's their one love for storytelling and, and and sort of horror a little bit and two i think they all just cherish and and respect just how precious life is i gotta say ayanka is one of my favorite characters so far um, and, and then I got to say that uh, Anya, who is such a badass and her story arc really takes you on a roller coaster. Um, so, you know, th there's a lot of likable characters in this. And I think the cast all are fantastic because whether it's the story on the outline or the many anthologies from the stories that they tell, you just see just how diverse and how much range that these actors have. But... There's a little bit more mystique to Ayanka actually coming to this facility because it wasn't just like a random, just like a, well, I think you'll go there type of thing. She now wants to discover more and understand more about, well, the place that she's at. Understanding that there is a lot of underlining secrets about this uh, facility and the history of the facility and also some mythical made slight dangerous demonic aspects to it as well too so like there's a lot kind of going on in there there's some definitely creepy things happening with, with within this building and within the series itself um so you're you're, you're going to kind of get caught off guard the one thing i will say about this is yes it's called the midnight club but man i did not think this was going to be so dark and i don't mean tone i mean like actual picture it's dark you have to turn your brightness up on this there's some episodes that are slightly almost closely unwatchable because it's just so so dark um and but i gotta say nothing took me from out of it i was completely invested because everything mattered in this whether it was just like 
um the dialogue between characters just their heartfelt stories and, and where they kind of came from before they entered this facility um the, you know their perspective about life uh their friendship and bond um you know talking about their past triggers and traumas you know everything that kind of is said within this has some bit of relevance and then you're kind of rooting for these characters because you want to see them stick it out you know we want to see as much time as we can to grow with these characters and then beyond that, the stories that they tell are just so uniquely different and interesting that you're just like, wow, that was actually really good. To the point that it kind of had me to a point like, man, I remember when I was a child and it was a whole idea of like sitting around a campfire and, uh, and telling stories and how fun that was. And that really took me back um, to, to, my, to my younger days and just like really like lit something inside of me like knowing just how fun that is and seeing them portray that it just really took me to a place that I was just really happy i just couldn't help but the smile but yet creeped out because the stories were so creepy and so good so interesting that i really 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 did enjoy it and you know i could name the cast here but i just again the entire cast really really brought it i thought again every character was interesting um and and whether it was you know again the the the, the real time in in terms of events that are happening or the stories that they're also acting other characters within the anthologies of the stories that they're telling they're just so good you can have somebody who's kind of stern in in in, in the present time and then in the, in and then in the in the stories that they're telling in the anthologies then they're kind of like an emotional wreck like they're just showing you so much range of what they can do so like man i you know these kids are stars and i thought that, and I, I need a season two like right away and god i gotta go check out the novel and i remember seeing this when i was younger i vividly remember it i just had never checked it out but this series it it, it, it really really left a good taste in my mouth that i really want to see all of the source material now so i hope there's more to come for season two um again i don't know how much more source material it is i didn't decide to research it but I did know that once I completed this, I cannot wait to talk about it. And this is a must watch come October 7th on Netflix. This was really, really, really good. I had a really good time for it. And it's spooky season, so it's right on time, folks. So, hey, check out The Midnight Club. It again on Netflix October 7th. Jump in the comments and let me know your thoughts about it. And as always, stay tuned for more reviews very soon.